Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Caitlin. Um, well, this is, uh, this is an unusual instance of the session. Uh, I believe it's the 69th session that we've done. And yes. on every one of those, we have both been in the same place. Um, and uh, both of us have been at the session. And this, this time is a little different. Um, where are you? You look like you're like really far away. Uh, no, I'm just up the street from you, actually. <laughs> I am, um, I'm in Midtown. I'm in a hotel in Midtown right now. Um, I am in a COVID bubble, uh, a COVID free bubble rather, um, <laughs> as part of a filming project that we're doing. That would be really bad if you were in a bubble full of COVID. Yeah, no, let's not go there. <laughs> be bad. Um, and I am of course back at our normal spot, um, a little south of Chris, and we're trying this new, um, I guess I was gonna say new technology. It's not new technology, but it's it's a new format for us. So hopefully this yep. goes all right. Um, okay, so um, I'm not sure if there's any new folks here who are here because of Fiddle Hell. Um, it's possible. If so, hello, nice to see you. Usually we're in the same place. Um, and I think the first thing we need to do for the new folks is introduce the the, uh, the dinosaurs here. Oh yeah. Um, because that's probably the most important thing to do. Um, who do you have there? Um, this is the original avocado. Okay, and this is um, new small avocado. Great. And um, behind me is, let's see, oh, very dark, but you can see big avocado. And also our new friend, the brontosaurus is, is here. Right. Um, so all the, fam the whole family is here, even though we're not in the, in the same place. Yep. Um, okay, I, ca I can't actually see the camera with avocado here, so I'm just gonna move him right down here. Great. Him or, him or her. Okay, oh, now I can see you, great. Um, okay, and um, we do have some amazing leaders and a very interesting theme for this session tonight. But before we do that, as usual, let's get started with a um, set of tunes. Now, because of the laws of physics, which we have not figured out how to break yet, if anybody could break them, it would be Chris. <laughs> but you haven't figured it out yet, right, Chris? Uh, unfortunately not. Okay, so because Chris has not figured out how to break the laws of physics yet, um, we can't play at the same time as hopefully everybody knows from pandemic zooming. So I am going to have to lead by myself, which I'm sad wah, wah. and nervous about. Um, but we're going to get started off with some nice, easy stuff. I was thinking we could do polkas. And the ones I was thinking about were uh, Maids of Arda and then the Road to Boston in, in the key of D. And I just taught this to my uh, level two students. So hopefully some are out there and can play along. And then we'll end off with Bridges Full of Stitches, which I know James Cleveland teaches in his level one class. So great tune. hopefully some tunes that everybody can play. Um, all right, let me just get tuned up here. Oh, shoot. Usually I get the A from you, Chris. What, am, what should I oh, do? Oh, I, I got it. I got you. Oh, great. Okay. One, one more. Great. Thank you very much. Oh, that was really helpful. Do you have a, do you have a D that I could get off of you? <laughs> no, that's I a, don't. That's a higher A. Excellent. Chris says it's drinking beer and it's tuning beer. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Important distinction. <laughs> All right. Okay. Enough silliness. Uh, well, I'll, we'll go ahead with these. Here's a set of we'll tunes. A nice slow speed here. Two times each on these. All right. One.
the dreaded squeaking E string. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just blame it on the internet. <laughs> oh, it was the internet. That was just right when I went to play the E, the internet went out. Yeah, that was, second. it's I, true. I, I yep. <laughs> both true. both times. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well played. Was... Nice set. The good news, everybody, Thank is you. Um, we may not be, I may not be able to accompany, but I can still add the sound effects. So. <laughs> yes. Including the beer, the bureau phone. <clears throat> um, yeah. I see. There's already been my... a lively discussion about um, the uh, tuning frequency. I'm not sure if that was exactly <laughs> um, a 440. Sorry, everybody. I know. I okay. So I I have to look over here to see the comments today. Um, and I was trying to keep an eye out. That's why I started laughing at the end. And also, then I had the yeah. e string squeak and everything went wrong. But I saw that. Um, uh, Bob had said that it wasn't an A440. Well, this is quite interesting because usually I do t tune to the piano, which is probably 440, I would guess. But oh, yeah, when I'm probably. left, when I'm left to my own devices, I revert to my classical training of tuning to an A442 or a 443, yeah. which yep. is probably what happened just there. Probably. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, uh, okay. So let's see. I've lost track of what we're supposed to be doing next. Oh, yes. We're supposed to be introducing the guest artist. We have some um, uh, fabulous guests today. <laughs> um, this is pretty fun, actually. Yeah. I, I don't usually get to like look at you when we're having the session. I can actually so look yeah. at your art. It's nice. It's really nice. Um, OK, yes, we have some great guests tonight. Uh, Nula Kennedy um, has curated this session. <laughs> has curated the session. Uh, she curated two sessions last summer all with um, artists from Ireland and this so this will be her third um, session all with artists from Ireland again and um, so it's herself and Tara Breen are the the main um, leaders and they are going to get us started off here with what is it jigs reels hornpipes horn pipe horn pipe and some reels start. actually yeah strong start to the session <laughs> with the hornpipes <laughs> okay go. here we go Lovely. Um, we carry on with a lovely hornpipe called Queen of the West. And then we will carry on with two reels. First one is a favorite of mine, actually, Daisy Bell, mm -hmm. uh, written by um, Martin Murray, a lovely fiddler and banjo player from Waterford. And then we'll finish off with the concert reel, I think. Yes.
Excellent. Oh, it's so nice to see you do it. You know, I just realized usually when we do this, we're on the screen together and the two guests are separate. Right. And it's opposite today. Role reversal. It's opposite day. <laughs> um, well, they sound lovely as, sound as expected. Um, I don't know how many people out <clears throat> how many people out there have played with Nula in real life, but um, it's one of the most fun things that one can do. Um, she's of course a great musician and also an excellent person and a good friend of mine. I met Nula. Oh gosh, I don't even know how many years ago Nula came to live here in New York for a year or two years. I don't remember exactly how many years. It feels like it was just last year, but of course it was probably like 10 years ago. Anyways, while she was here, we got to play a lot of tunes together. Um, and I dug out a few pictures from that time, um, which I think Chris can show us here. This one, the New Yorkers in the audience will probably know what this is. We were asked to play at the, um, oh my gosh, I just forgot the name. What's the name of this show? Sleep No More. Sleep No More, yes. We, we Nula and I were, the, were some special musical guests at Sleep No More. Uh, one night, and it was one of the weirdest and coolest gigs we've ever done. So there we are in our scary masks. And there we are without our scary masks. They had session beers available backstage. So, um, That's of course, very apropos. Yes, exactly. And then this is us up in Alaska a year or two later um, playing at the Far North Fiddle Festival. So um, <clears throat> I've always enjoyed my time playing with Nula, and hopefully we can do it again soon. Yes. Um, okay, and I just forgot that um, I didn't actually do any of the introductions that I usually do up at the front of the show, so or the session. So I should just say, if you're new here um, and you want more information about uh, the session, you can just go down into the description, and there's all sorts of stuff down there. Um, these these sessions, of, of, of which there are now 69 after tonight, are run entirely through community contributions. Um, we've, I, I, I calculated the number the other day. Now I'm forgetting. I think something like we've put $25,000 into musicians pockets so far through that link. Wait, where is it? Oh, <laughs> that looks funny if I sure. do like this and you do like, right. okay. Um, so it's above Chris's head. It's in the description and I'll put it into the comments as well. So it's that's easily 25, clickable. That's 25,000 just on the session alone, right? Just on the session alone. Cool. Yes. Um, yeah, and about uh, 150 musicians or something like that. So needless to say, we pay everybody who comes onto the session and is our guest. Um, so thanks for helping us keep, keep this going. Um, and I forgot to say the theme, which oh, is actually quite, quite unusual. And it is. Um, I actually didn't really prepare anything for the theme tonight. Did you? No, no well, although we were... I guess my whole existence right now is sort of... Um, <laughs> That's true. On, it's on topic. It's on topic. Maybe you should announce the theme. The theme is, at Nula's request, the theme is increased security. Right? Yeah. Increased security. Yeah. Yep. And so, so I'm she... living that because I can't leave this hotel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chris is locked in a hotel right now. Um, yes, I suppose all of us have been trying to live with some increased security over the last bit. Yeah. But anyways, later in, later in the session, um, Nula will tell you why she chose that. But we'll leave, we'll leave that to Nula to, to tell you. Um, should, we, should we go on to some more tunes? Another set. Great, okay. Round the house and mind the dresser.
Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> Excellent. So if you've been playing along, you might have noticed that some of the tunes are in different keys. I'm just going to say that that's a hint to the theme. And All will be explained. Now. All will be explained soon. Um, all right, so um, we're going to actually do community pictures right up here um, in the front today. And there were only two community pictures submitted, which is okay because the theme is quite difficult, actually. I should have gone through my pictures and got one. Anyways, so we have two, two winners of the community uh, photo segment. And of course, you might guess who the first one is because she has not missed, but I should take that back. She, took, she missed one week, Angela Botzer. And this is a picture, if I remember correctly, of her daughter's door in New York City. This is such a common <laughs> New York City site, like six locks yes. that have clearly been replaced about 100 times each. Yes. Yes, I'm clear like which this... one is the proper one to insert the key into. <laughs> yes, I feel like I've, I've lived in many of these apartments. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then, oh, I love this one. This is uh, Ara Dadakian, I think I'm saying that right, uh, his, his puppy, his dog. And he says, all you need for increased security is a stout fence and, a, and an aggressive sentry dog. <laughs> and then he <laughs> clarified that this is his 13-year-old King Charles Cavalier. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I like what the costume. Boy. It's great that he, he had the costume there um, ready for the theme. Of course. <laughs> It's excellent. I don't think he said the name of the dog in the email, oh, did he, Chris? No, I, I don't think so. Not we'll that have I to saw. figure out. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's, we'll have to figure that out. Um, yeah. Really excellent. Okay, so great job to, to um, Angela and, and Ara. Actually, Angela is always first because her name is A-N, but Ara right. is almost, he almost beats her on that. We True. need somebody who has a name yeah. starting with A, A, -A B, like, like, like Abigail. Aaron. Or Abigail. Aaron. Yeah, either one of those would... would would uh, go to the front of the list. Um, okay, and then one other thing I was going to say, Gordon Nash, who um, I'm not sure if he's here tonight, but he mentioned a few weeks back, and I missed the email because it's been crazy. Life. Um, because crazy life, yes. Um, anyways, he mentioned a festival that he wanted me to say on the session, and I am going to because it looks awesome. And I'm just going to look at my notes here. So I hope I'm saying this right. The Goderich Celtic Roots Festival, or maybe it's Goderich, I'm not sure. Um, but the reason he wanted us to mention it is because they have an emerging artist showcase, um, which he thought some people who play on the session might be interested in. Um, it's the inaugural year. You, you apply to uh, do it. You send in a video. And then I believe what you get is a year's worth of, um, I hope I'm saying this right. I think it's a year's worth of um, uh, instruction and mentorship from someone. I'm okay. trying to read it as I go here, <laughs> but it's, it's very cool. Okay. We clearly not, did our homework here. <laughs> I, you know what? Here's the thing. I do my homework and it goes into my brain and then it just exits. Right. I don't know if right. other people right. have this problem during the pandemic, but I do. <laughs> it just I leaves do. my brain. Okay. Anyways, it's really cool despite my lack of um, selling it to you guys, but I'm going to yeah. put it into the comments and you can check it out. It'd be really cool if somebody from Tunes Apply won uh, one of these um, Emerging Artist Showcase uh, awards. I saw okay. some people were concerned that... Um, I was getting all the avocado love and Caitlin was not, but um, don't worry. Caitlin actually has two avocados available for I have her two. right now. I have I, two. I have small. And I have, small. Only, I have small avocado. Here. Uh, we were thinking that they could do a little, a little kiss right here. Okay. Ready? Oh, <laughs> kind of looks like um, a head butt. Uh, that didn't really work exactly as we imagined. <laughs> Okay, and I also have big avocado behind me, so don't worry. Yeah. And I also have a cat. I have a full-grown, alive cat. That's true. So I'm I'm doing okay. Actually, Chris is the one who's lacking for. for I am certainly um, lacking cat for love. animals. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Oh, we have our first special guest. Um, his name is Peter Casey. Um, in in. Tunes Apply fashion. I've never met Peter, but uh, Nula actually curated this whole session, all the all the guests on the session. So um, she recommended Peter, and he is going to start off by singing a song here, I believe. Is that right, Chris? That is right. Cool. All right, first song of the night. Let's go. Oh, my name is Dinny from County Cork. 
For years I've been trying to find myself work. I don't have contacts, I haven't much clout. And there's many have called me one ignorant loud. Well, the work that I'm good at isn't easy to find. I'll never be caring nor friendly nor kind. But I got a plan now, a trick up my sleeve. A security guard in Parky Cueve. So here's to the boys who guard Frank's field. We'll always say no and we'll never yield. We won't be persuaded nor we won't be lured. That's how to be a Parky Cueve steward. If I was from Russia and young, fit and free, I'd love to be part of the KGB or to be a fat rebel or with the Taliban. And I think I'd have made a grand black and tan. <laughs> or a British soldier, happy I'd be around Newry Town or in Tandarigi. But as I am from Cork now, I do believe I will be the best short in Parky Cueve. So here's to the boys who guard Frank's field. We always say no and we never yield. We won't be persuaded nor we won't be lured. That's how to be a Parky Cueve steward. I was the work in the day when Wexford played Clare. I knew there'd be trouble from the smell in the air. Those yellow bellies, my blood did spill. I'd read of what happened on Vinegar Hill. And I'd also heard tales about Brian If them Claremen came at me, I knew what I'd do. With me foot and me fist as me sword and me shield, I would banish them all to hell from Frank's field. So the match that was played, there was nobody there. And when it was over, the victors were clear. No need to announce not to go on the pitch. But I couldn't settle. I started to twinge. Then this clairman ran by me like a young goose. Well, I grabbed him around the neck and the nose. And I rustled him down on the ground near the goal. And I brought him outside, gave him a fung. And the, oh, here's to the boys who guard Frank's field. We always say no, and we never yield. We won't be persuaded, and we won't be lured. That's how to be a parky creeps churned. When he was on the brief paper, the TV, the blogs, and he said that I manhandled him like a dog. My face was there for the world to dissect. Do you believe that they sacked me, showed me no respect? Now with me hands in me pockets, I'm walking through Cork. Day after day, I'm looking for work. But there's a job coming up now in Skibbereen to put order and people as they take their vaccine. So here's to the lads who guard Frank's field. We always say no and we never yield. We won't be persuaded nor we won't be lured. That's how to be a Parky Queen's George. <laughs> Uh, I'm Peter Casey, and that was a song that was written um, after one of the first games that was played in Parky Cueve in Cork a few years ago, when um, the stewards uh, probably went overboard with uh, one of our uh, top Clare Hurling supporters who ran onto the field. And uh, so it's a true story, and um, a man affectionately known as the Goslin uh, got thrown out of the field, and uh, he's, a, he's a hero afterwards. Uh, he's been a hero since and uh, the funny story about that was he wanted me to make a recording of that song uh, and I had it for him straight away. He was in a big hurry for it because he drives a bus of Clare supporters uh, and Clare were playing uh, Galway about two weeks after that match and uh, I met this guy in the street and he was maybe a few days after the match he said, you, you, I, I'm sick of you anyway and I said, why, what's wrong? He said, I had to listen to you on repeat all the way from Innes to Dublin and back from Dublin to Innes again on the same song. <laughs> so uh, that's the story. So that's my uh, song about increased security in, in the world today. Woohoo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that was great. And I can, I recognize... I recognize Nula's wooing in the background. Yeah, as you well, can hear. Which you can tell me... it's Nula. 
<laughs> which makes me wish wish that we were all together. Um, <clears throat> that was great. Uh, really great. I have to go back and listen to those lyrics again. Sometime. I know, they're spectacular, There's a, a, right? <laughs> a lot going on. Yes. Um, when I first saw that video, I thought that he was in um, a sauna. It looks like he's yeah, in a sauna, but he's dressed like he's outside. I'm guessing it's yeah. not a sauna. Seems like the acoustics in a sauna could be good, though. Maybe. Probably. We should try it sometime. Do you have oh, a sauna maybe. available? <laughs> that probably wouldn't be very good for the instruments, though. I was just going to say that's a bad idea. And we, yeah. we'd probably have to be naked. It would, it would not be good. Yeah. Um, um, up in Alaska, there are a lot of saunas, so I'm sure we could True. we can yeah. make this happen. Yeah. Um, okay, moving on, moving on. You might have um, heard either through the mailing list, the Tunes Play mailing list, or um, on the Tunes Play Facebook page or other places that um, we were nominated for an award. And the voting actually ends tomorrow for this award. Now, I've never really been a fan of these awards that are popularity contests, I have to say. Um, however, what the heck? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, so if you want to vote for Tunes Apply for the Irish uh, Echoes um, Arts and Culture Award, um, you can do so. And I will put the link into the chat. I should have gotten this ready earlier. I will do it right now. They've made a lovely um, little poster here. There's an awards ceremony, uh, virtual awards ceremony on Friday, Friday evening. I guess that's tomorrow. Um, yep. And we will be on there, not playing, just we'll be on there chatting, I guess. Yeah, and they sent us the schedule, and it's, I have to say it's a little unclear exactly how it's all going to work, but um, I think perhaps the pertinent thing uh, is that if you, if you sign up to attend, um, you are entered for a pair of plane tickets, Aer Lingus plane tickets, and I, I, I think you don't have to be there to win the plane tickets, I think. So it would be a good reason to uh, sign up in any case is to be entered for the plane tickets, once yeah. we can all fly on planes again, of course. Um, Okay, that, I'm glad yeah, you mentioned that yeah. because that was my that was my thought when I heard the prize was plane tickets. Like, not plane and, tickets for us. Yeah, I know, but well, like just for, because, the, yeah. for the audience. Yeah, yeah, because we can't go to Ireland right now. That's true. In fact, I think that I think I read in the New York Times like they shut down travel to Ireland today or something, or yeah. vice versa. Something like that. Yeah, but presumably at some future date we'll be able to fly yeah. on airplanes. Sure. Um, so uh, there you go. You can um, you can vote once a day on each of your devices um, because this is not a de democratic vote uh, no, in the slightest. It's so purely a popularity contest, and <laughs> that's okay because it's the internet and it's 2021. It's 2021 and nothing matters. So right. um, there you go. You can vote if you like, or you can vote for any of the other. There's tons of people on the list. I think about 30 other amazing people, musicians, artists. Um, so please vote for who you think should win. Um, Win the award. Okay, I didn't see this. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Mimi. Um, thanks, Mimi. <laughs> Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> I guess they had to change the rules because too many people voted for Tin Supply. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it should be fun to attend the ceremony tomorrow <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Regardless of what happens, it'll be interesting. So yes. there you go. So thanks to everyone um, for all your um, votes and your support. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> really appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we should ask more tunes. This is getting yeah, a little Yeah, what's silly. coming up next here? Let's see. Um, oh, I think uh, it's Nula. Nula and Tara, more tunes. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hi there. You might have noticed that the last reel in that set was in a different key than normal, and that's because um, we keep changing the keys for our theme of increased security. From the lockdown in Ireland. So, uh, increased security is our theme, and um, in this set of jigs, we're going to change the keys of two of them. And um, here we go.
that ending. Yeah, that um, was great. I also love that last tune, and I we were um, we were trying to figure out what the name of that tune was, and I had to I had to call upon Alan Murray to help me figure out the name. Uh, Alan yeah. is my go-to person. I, I suppose Isaac and Alan. I asked Isaac one of them, and they're usually, both great sources. Yeah. If there was a tune that neither of them knew, then it wouldn't be a tune, yes. basically. Yeah. Then sure. I'd have to go to Don Mead actually, is who the right. the, the, right. the next person would be. The encyclopedia. Um, <clears throat> the encyclopedia. I, yes. I see Peter um, Peter Rahill has. Uh, commented about the um, chamber orchestra sound there. It's very, yes. it's, a, it's a true kitchen party sound, huh, Peter? Yes. And also it reminded me that, um, that I don't know if everybody saw the picture of Nula on, you'll see it at the end, um, the, the one that we put up onto the poster for the session. Um, she's holding a flute that's like oh, yeah, that three feet flute. long. So cool. Do you know anything about that? Flute? I don't know, but it's giant. I don't know how you'd even play it because it seems like you'd have to like yeah. go like this yeah. to play it. We should ask yeah. her to play it next time. Maybe she should play it with Jerry's um, long fiddle. Oh yeah, the, Kim uh, Harris the violon. has a great name. The, the violon. violon. <laughs> the violon. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Okay, we'll try to commission this for a for a future session. It will be just long instruments will be the theme of the session. Yes, that might be good. Oh, and um, Mari Black has that. Um, fiddle behind her on the piano that's like the the violin is this long but the neck is this long have you seen that in i don't her think videos? so no it's a, it's like a dance master's fiddle or pocket fiddle oh oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah I've seen or, that. that's great yeah um okay so before we move on um to the important topic of what chris and i are drinking for for this session um i wanted to note that it's earth day and um i didn't actually prepare anything uh, special for earth day um, I should have. However, I feel like every day is Earth Day for us. We try to make it Earth Day. And I will just say that I hope that everybody is treating the Earth as well as they can, um, given the circumstances that we find ourselves in in 2021. And um, yes, I, I was thinking about one year ago on Earth Day, on the Earth Day session, we had a video that was made by Amerio's sessioneer regarding um, the Earth and taking care of it. And so um, I'd encourage you to go back and watch that video. It was, it was really exceptional. Um, and I just also wanted to acknowledge this plant on the topic of Earth Day, because this plant has been with me longer than anything else, any human or animal in my whole life, besides my family. I, <laughs> it's true, it's true. And these are some cuttings from the, from the plant. The plant has actually taken over um, multiple rooms in the house, as Chris knows, um, because I can't ever throw away any plant cuttings no the plant never gets pruned it only gets um <laughs> like parts get cut off and then repotted to make new plants <laughs> but it never gets like pruned and composted or anything no, no. <laughs> it's my baby basically yeah, yeah um i got it when i first came here to new york so um thank you plant for being with me and um there we go happy earth day yes. take care of our planet if you can that plant's um, name is the plant's name is plantalope that's true. Its name is Plantalope. All of the parts of it are named Plantalope. There's right. how many pots of it now? Five like pots six. of Plantalope. Yeah. <laughs> and we're babysitting a another Plantalope that is not mine. That was from right. my Come From Way dressing roommate. And when the whole thing shut down, I took possession of all of the plants that were in the dressing room because I was the only one who could get up there fast enough to get them all. So yes. <laughs> we are babysitting a lot of Well, we were very uh, worried about plants. them. I mean... Yes. It's going to be a long time with no water. A year. Well, but we didn't know <laughs> that at the time. We thought it was no, like that's a true. week we did or not two know. weeks. Or, yeah. <laughs> that's true. It's good. And um, some of those plants are also taking over the house. It's excellent. Okay. Yeah. Onwards to um, what we're drinking tonight. So um, I am drinking my new favorite category of drink. Um, and I think it might be yours too, Chris, right? Although you're not drinking it tonight. I'm not because... Um, you have none. Well, I don't have any. Yeah, um, it's sherry, dry sherry. And um, my favorite types are this, as I say, amontillado, which I know is not correct. And um, what's the other one that I like? Oloroso is my actual favorite. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of that for myself in my... Um, actually, Chris got these glasses for us that are etched with street, street maps from... Um, I have the Juneau, Alaska one, and Chris has the Fairbanks, Alaska one. Yep. Um, they're really cool to remind us of favorite places. Okay, and what are you drinking? I am drinking um, like the most basic 
Mexican <laughs> beer available, which is Victoria. Excellent. Um, cheers, delicious. bears. So, cheers, bears, everyone. <laughs> cheers. All right. Excellent. Cherries where it's at. It's going to be the new hot thing, I have to tell you. I love cherry. I'm calling it, I'm, I'm calling it right now. Cherry. Yep. cherry is the new rosé. It could be, actually. <laughs> or the new orange wine, perhaps. Yes. Um, okay, onwards, onwards to our next um, special guest for tonight. Uh, her name is Anne-Marie McCormick. And like Peter, unfortunately, we have not met her, but um, we will get to hear from her actually two sets of tunes here in a row. So um, yep. we will be back on screen um, in a while, which is good for you guys. So, um, okay, <laughs> here, here we go, tunes. <laughs> from Kilfenora living here in Ennis and I'm delighted to be here today to play for Tune Supply. Thank you very much for having me and thank you to my dear friend Nula, Nula Kennedy. Uh, I started off there with a few reels and I'm just going to play a few jigs now and not great for names but the last one is a composition of Tommy Peoples. Thank you. Thank you. 
that was awesome. Absolutely amazing. I don't know those tunes. I have to put them on my list of tunes to learn. Which is now that... many. Go ahead. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know that, that first jig. Um, what's it called? Charlie Hunter? I didn't know that Wait, was you... named Charlie Hunter. Wait, you know a tune that I don't know? Yes. Uh-oh. I know. Uh-oh. I'm falling behind. I'm yes. falling behind. I was going to say that my list of tunes to, to learn is a, a couple pages long now. I thought when the pandemic started that I would um, learn a bunch of tunes, write the fiddle instruction book that I've been saying that I would for five years, um, re review my Russian language skills. Mm -hmm. um, uh, none of that has happened. No. Um, but we have Tune Supply, so. But we have Tune Supply, which yeah. is even better, even better than all those yeah. things. Oh, Matt um, Mancuso is here. <clears throat> oh, Matt, hello. Hi. Um, okay, now, I don't know if he was here when I said I was drinking sherry, but Matt, I'm drinking sherry. I wonder if Matt has some advice on good sherries. Maybe. I'd say that he might. Um, I also have been looking in the comments about um, Bob Beamers is is making limoncello. Did you see that? Yeah. Um, he said he used 60 limes for a three liter batch. And 195 proof alcohol. Yeah. Okay, well, that sounds good. <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay, so we are to the halfway point in the session or probably a little, a little bit over as usual. Um, it's funny, I thought this session was gonna be really short and it's turning out to be- Turning out to be really um, long. Yeah, oh, which well. is great, this is great. Um, it's probably because we don't get to talk to each other really on a right, right, right. normal basis anymore. I will say, I think we are more than halfway through the I uh, think we are. musical content. That's true. Okay, so at the halfway point, we have a poem from Mimi um, and usually Amos. So let's go see what they have to say. Hello, Mario's friends. It's Mimi and Amos with a very bad poem in a song, actually, in honor of Earth Day. I apologize for the singing. Well, it's Earth Day, that's true. And we live in a zoo. Plants and animals and planet. We must take care of you. Yes, it's Earth Day again. And our planet needs friends. So stand up for our mother and against climate change, defend. Let's not buy that thing that Amazon to us would bring with huge carbon footprint and tons of crud as packaging. Key change. We can all do our part, demand our governments have heart. Factory farms made me veggie. When cows roam free, they don't much fart. At least I don't think so. I don't actually know. Um, so happy Earth Day. And we hope that you're, you're thinking twice about, about things that might contribute to um, climate change and pollution. Recycle, Amos, Amos does and uh, hope you're all staying safe, wearing your mask, eating your kibble, and all that. And please um, remember to chip into the box if you can, help Caitlin and Chris do their amazing work. Vote, if you haven't, on the Irish Echo site. And as always, Mary can help others who are less fortunate in the neighborhood. If you have some bucks to spare, She'll be happy to take your money and deliver shepherd's pie to somebody who might otherwise not have something to eat. So um, nice way to help two, two, two folks at once. Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> I would say that might be in the top 10 poems. That's definitely uh, in top my 10 opinion. poems. Definitely. Um, that was some spectacular rhyming and in addition in addition the singing element of it i think um pops it right up there into the top fantastic for, well for done. me maybe well executed. maybe top maybe top five actually could what do be, you think yeah. yeah could be that was really incredible and also the um the pageantry of the whole thing the costuming mm. yeah. and everything was really really spectacular so uh, yes maybe, i love uh, the um blueberry blueberry pint hat for Amos. <laughs> yes yes that was great <laughs> Excellent. Yes. And, um, you know, 
Earth Day and climate change and all that stuff is, of course, a serious topic. But I suppose we do have to laugh sometimes. And, um, yes. you know, that's actually a tune supply thing, right? We, we, we were born in a uh, we were born out of a terrible event and yes. um, we we try to have no, we like to fun. laugh. Well, we can't. We like to laugh. Yes. OK. Um, so, yes, please throw a few bucks into the contribution link, which is sitting sure. on Chris's head, as sure. always. Um, and it's in the description and in the comments. And that is how we pay all of our um, leaders. Avocado does not get paid and neither does Toast. I should say Toast gets paid in food. Um, he's right here. I'm going to show him in a minute. He doesn't really want to be on camera right now. Um, but yes, and also please um, help support Mary uh, by buying scones for yourself or shepherd's pies for those who need them. And her website is store store at marios .nyc. yes there I'll you put go it on the screen okay excellent and i'll show show um toast while we're we're doing this um man you can't see him at all toast look at the camera he's, it's hilarious he's so dark colored um so he, he was just interrupted in his um probably 12th hour of napping today so he's a little upset to be on camera but toast only is 12 only his 12th fine. hour wow well that's why he's upset because he needs oh, yeah, a little right. more sleep today right. before the day is done um <clears throat> okay oh guess what's coming up next what's coming oh, up? oh here's the here's the box yes here's the box okay first the box um <clears throat> and uh after the box is uh, a song by nula which i know i've been looking forward to um, I have as well and hopefully other people have as well okay so here we go hi this is a, a song that's called happy are we all together and we all are happiest playing tunes together, but Tune Supply has been doing a great job of filling in the, the gap while that's not possible. And so this song is one that I learned from Len Graham, the beautiful singer from the north of Ireland, and happy are we all together.
Beautiful. Uh, I love, love it. And the, sen- yeah. the sentiment as well. And I guess um, togetherness can be, uh, can take many forms. Sure. Um, uh, virtual or non-virtual. Um, Indeed. So. Um, wow, I'm getting philosophical here at the end of the night. It's probably the sherry. should probably take another Could drink. Be. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should fill that up. Yeah, okay. Um, that was lovely. So let me see here. Oh, we've come to the words portion of the night. Now, oh, yes. if you're new here, the words I wonder of the if week. any people... I wonder if any people were new here and are still here um, after witnessing the silliness at the start of the Unlikely. session. Unlikely. Unlikely. But for those of you who are still here, we will do our words of the week like we've been doing lately. Man, I don't know how to show anything to the camera anymore. because The setup is different. Um, oh, no. It's kind of amazing that I was able to even appear here at all without Chris <laughs> being here to help with the technology. <laughs> it's a miracle, actually. Um, I don't have any comment on that. <laughs> Chris what are the words of the week, Caitlin? <laughs> moving along. Wait, is this along. where we're doing the words of the week? Oh, is it? Oh, it's not. It's not. I'm well, premature. Well, we could do them here. Sorry. Let's do them here. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's let's save them. <laughs> it, I did. It felt a little premature. I was I was confused. I was confusing yes. myself. Um, okay. No, what I was going to say right here is um, uh, some other exciting news, which is that we did order a new batch of T-shirts. Uh oh, am I frozen? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, You're I'm back. back. I'm back. I'm back. I I did that on purpose. I I wonder if right. I could pretend to be frozen. Let's see. Uh huh. Good I job. I wasn't actually frozen there. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we ordered a new batch of T-shirts. Um, which is presently in transit up to the um, Tune Supply Alaska headquarters where um, all of the merchandise is um, distributed from my mom's house. and um, the, dis- the distribution center. The distribution center in Fairbanks, right. Alaska. Right. Um, there are uh, a, few ex- a few new colors, actually, including uh, a new color of tank top because summer is coming. And um, I think... I might have added a new color to the normal t-shirt. I can't remember. Anyways, um, we noticed a few weeks ago that nobody was buying t-shirts, and then we went into the store to figure out what was going on. It was because there were no more t-shirts, or very few t-shirts left in the store. <laughs> so there will be a resupply shortly. It's not there yet. Just keep an eye out. I just wanted to say, because I'm very excited about the new batch. Um, you probably already have a t-shirt, actually, if you've been watching this long. But if you don't have one, I'll show you approximately what they look like. Designed by Anna Culleton and um, made with uh, cotton that has been approved by the Cotton Initiative, or I, I, I hope I have that right, the organization that certifies cotton as being eco-friendly on the topic of Earth Day. Um, Mark's here and, from Fiddle Hill, oh, and he's still watching. First time. Oh, great. <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Mark. <laughs> this is slightly more silly than Fiddle Hill, just a little it is, bit. Yeah. Um, but Fiddle Hill was great. I have to say, that was I was so impressed by the organization of it all. Yes, really well done, well executed. Really, all like, yes, having run Tune Supply for a year, uh, I, I, I guess we both know a little bit about herding cats, and by that I mean musicians, and I mean that in the most loving sense. I love cats, um, but I was very, very impressed with the whole thing. It was yep. great. Um, Okay, and then I was just going to say really quickly that um, in the next one to two weeks, I will be entering the bubble with Chris, although we're not allowed to be in the same room because we'll be in different parts of the bubble, which is strange. Um, uh, We may try to do a session next week, but we're not exactly sure if that will be able to happen because it just gets even more technologically crazy the farther down this path we get. So please, if you're not on the mailing list already, you may want to get on it so that you can be kept abreast of... Um, what is going to happen. And I actually pulled out the mailing list links today. I don't usually do that, but just because we're really not sure. If you go to this website that I just put into the chat, over on the right-hand side um, are the mailing list links, both for regular Tune Supply and for Mario's. So I would sign up for the Mario's list at least um, to be kept up to date on what will happen yes. next week. One um, thing we can guarantee is there will not be a session on Thursday, unless Caitlin does correct. it by herself. Actually, no, we're both going to be working. If I go to the bubble, right, which is a story we won't get into. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so um, yes, if, if we do one next week, it will be on Friday, not Thursday. But but we'll let you know on in the mailing list. What we do know is the guest artist for this session, whenever it happens, and it is um, Killian uh, Valerie and Matt Mancuso. I think is that right, Matt? Are you sure, still there? <laughs> 
think it might be Matt. Well, maybe he can tell us if he's still in the comments. But it's at least yeah. Killian, which would be great. Killian hasn't been on the session in a long time. Yes. Um, okay, so we're going to have one more special guest set, and that is Peter and Anne together on this one. And they'll get um, a song for us on this. And I think the song is Galway Shawl, if I'm not mistaken. And that is a, a tune that I often teach, a song that I often teach as a tune to beginners. So hopefully you can play along there um, if you're able. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Early, 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 all in the 
morning when I hit the road for sweet Donegal. She said goodbye, sir. She hugged and kissed me. My mind will never forget the Galway shawl. She wore no jewels, no costly diamonds, no pen, no powder, no none at all. But she wore a bow. on it and round her shoulder was the Galway shawl and round her shoulder was the Galway shawl Say hi to everybody at Tune Supply, guys. Yeah, hi, everybody at Tune Supply. I hope you enjoyed our tunes and our songs, and uh, uh, wish you all the very best. Peter and Anne Marie, live from Ennis. Yep. <laughs> love it. That's a beautiful love song. It. Love that. I love Nula singing along in the background. I know, yeah. yeah narrating. Great. Yes. It's excellent. Um, Yes, I think uh, some folks were asking where they were, and um, yes, they're in Ennis. And I think Nula is just outside of Ennis. Is that right, Chris? I don't know. Is she living? I think so, if I remember yeah. correctly. Um, lovely. It reminds me, I, I, uh, for a while there, I was teaching the melody to that song to all my beginner classes, and then for some reason I stopped, and now I think I'm going to have to restart that again. It's such, yeah. a, such a great melody. I think I first actually learned and played that song with Donny Carroll here in New York. Oh, cool. Many years ago. Right on. Um, okay, so we have now come to the words of the week. Probably everyone has left by now. Um, we have been... <laughs> Why don't I have any sound effect buttons over here? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because I would overuse them. Yes. That's, that's likely. Um, okay, so uh, the deal is we have been learning new words from this book the whole year of 2021. Um, I really enjoy this, and I, at least two, three other people do, because the, we, the one week that we didn't do it, three people wrote to me and asked why we didn't do words. So for, for me and the three other people, we're going to keep doing it. Um, so the deal is here we have two words from the book um, that will go up on the screen here, and you can put into the chat what you think the word means. And um, if you know what the words means, you can put that into the chat too, but it's uh, per perhaps more fun if you make up a silly um, meaning for the word. Now these two, so last week people knew the words. I try to pick words that nobody's gonna know, but you all are so smart, it's hard to do. I suspect these two today are quite difficult. So I'd be surprised actually if anybody knows them. Um, and often I don't actually know how to pronounce the words. So we'll give it a shot here. The first one is now Fragus. Is that how you'd say it, Chris? Naufragus? 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 Frage, now, Naufragus. No. I don't know. Okay, and no. then the second one is Solastalgia. Solastalgia. Noun. Um, okay, so those are your words. And then um, the price. Wow, well, uh, uh, Toast is trying to break into something over there. If you're hearing that. I hear that. that. Yeah, I hear it. I don't know what he's trying to break into. Hopefully, if you hear any loud in. crashes, don't be alarmed. <laughs> he did um, yesterday. He broke a uh, salt container. Um, he uh, jumped into one of my plants, and he threw up on my sweater. Um, it's not a good day for toast. <laughs> no, it was not. Um, okay, so the prize for great definitions of these words, um, there may be one or two prizes um, based on your, your uh, excellent um, intellects here. And the prize is either a mailing label with your choice of tune written on it. Here's one that we did for someone a while back mailing label so you can stick it to someone or to you or to your case or whatever you want. 
Um, or you can choose one of the t-shirts that is available on the store right now, but it has to be one that's available before we do the restock. Um, I would probably so go with the mailing it, label personally, but <laughs> because you have three tunes of light oh, right, t-shirts. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. So those are the potential prizes there. Um, while we are doing that, oh shoot, the thing that I usually say at this point is what's happening next week, but I already did that, but I guess I'll right. do it just just now um, to, to use up some time. Um, next week, the session, if it happens, will be moved to Friday, and it will uh, feature Killian Valley. Did we figure out the second person? I didn't look. Um, I hold on, I hold on. I, I bet I have it in an email right here since, we're, since we have some time. Maybe you could sing the um, Jeopardy theme song. Well, here, I, I'll do you one better. Okay. I'll open a beer for you. <laughs> That's great. D yeah. do, you, are you, do you still have beers available to um, you? Yes, I do. I do. Um, good. Okay, I, feel, I found the answer. Um, Killian says he's recording his session with Matt. Great. He did not specify the last name of Matt. Okay, so great. I suppose there's a few options, but I would guess that it's Matt Mancuso. That's Toast trying to climb up the I wall, which he also does. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, let me now. I need a minute to look at the at the. There's been some good ones. Do you have any that you want to pick out yet? I'm gonna look while you're. While well, you're... Um, a lot of people have connected Sola Stalgia with um, the band Solas, which is smart. Oh. And very only um, a... on topic here. Only in an Irish music session would right. that happen. Good. Okay. But I really like, um, I think Brian Murkison's is good. Soul Nostalgia is the feeling when you wish you could play like John Doyle. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Well, I also like I, that David be... Linden's uh, definition, missing the sun, a common ailment in Seattle and Portland. Yes, yes, let's and apparently his, Juno this year too. Yeah, let's see if anyone has attempted um, now. Now, Fragus. Harris Rothman has. Oh, that's that's an interesting one. He says a state of affairs that has been consistent over a long period of time. For example, yeah, I've been playing the fiddle now, Fragus. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's great, um, John Timaeus. The inevitable breaking down of the eternal now. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, and immediate an immediate feeling, feeling of, of terror. terror. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to tell the, tell you the answers, Chris. If you want to pick any, go for it. I can okay. I can pick if you want, but um, I'm going to start talking talking the answers here. Um, okay. So nobody got either one of them. Now, Fragus means causing a shipwreck. No, somebody did get that. Oh, they did? John John Fitzgerald got this. Oh my gosh. Hello, John Fitzgerald. I, um, yes. I haven't I haven't talked to you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Okay, that's amazing. Of course, I I think that John is an excellent writer, so that doesn't surprise me that yes. he would know it. So yes, um, and there's there's a whole bunch of information about all these words, which I'm not gonna read, but um, I, I thought this was interesting. So a now frag is a ship trek person. Hmm. Um, to naphragiate is to cause a shipwreck. <laughs> and um, something that is naphragious is in a dangerous or precarious position. Wow. So there you go. OK. And then the other one is very pertinent to today, Earth Day. And it is mental distress or nostalgia sparked by environmental change. And I suffer from this um, a lot, as Chris has seen. John years. Fitzgerald uh, also um, nailed the definition for that one. Really? Yeah. Wow. I wonder, John Fitzgerald, I, mean, I wonder if he has the same book. He might. You know, a couple of people have asked me <laughs> the name of the book so they can get yeah, it, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. John who did that. So I, I suspect he, he is just, uh, he just knows these words. Yes. Um, I feel that John should get one of the awards for tonight. I though. think so, yeah, for getting the okay. correct definition of both words. That's very impressive. Okay, so John, you you have one of the awards, and there will be one more awarded, pro, pro, possibly by Chris. Um, but this word was f um, created in 2003, actually, by an Aus Australian philosopher, um, and it's based on the word nostalgia, of course. And then the, I was wondering where the first part is from, and it's from the Latin word for solas or comfort, solasium. Um, I like this. It's one. Interesting. Which one? 
No fragging clue. <laughs> no fragging clue. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, okay, so it describes the unease or distress experienced by someone whose home has changed around them as a direct result of environmental change. I feel like that is all of us now these days yeah. and um, probably getting worse. Um, okay, did you find a second winner or, or what do you think? Um, I'm not sure. I think you, what was the first one? Well, what was that first one that we saw up at the, the very top? Um, let's see. It was the John Doyle one. Oh, yes. Brian Murkison. That's a good one. But that, let's do that. Okay. So those were some great ones. That was hard to choose, actually. There were so many ones. But Brian Murkison and John Fitzgerald, you're the winner. So you can, you can either request a tune of your choice on a mailing label, or great you price. can pick one awesome of the price. available... <laughs> And Chris, I have to say, I have to say, Chris does this custom made like this. He, okay, he actually it's true. Used... It's not just printed off the session.org. I actually no. like, typeset it into Finale. So and it says tunes of on the bottom here. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so or you can choose a T-shirt of your choice that is available on the store. It has to be available on the store because that's all we have right now. Um, okay, so great. Brian and John, if you want either of those prizes, send us an email tunes at tune.supply and we'll set you up. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's move on to our final set of tunes from Nula and Tara. Sounds good. Yeah. Hello. And uh, here's a last set from us. A few reels. And hope you've enjoyed all the, the various bits and bobs. I know Caitlin and Chris will have played some fantastic tunes tonight as well. And thanks to Anne-Marie and Peter for playing and singing and having the crack. And uh, from myself and Tara. See ya. Very soon. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> we hope so. And we've had uh, three reels, so we've been we've been increasing the security on this uh, the set of reels as well. So.
great. <laughs> Woo! Love oh, it. this makes Fantastic. me want to go to. It makes me want to go to Spawn of Noah. Is what it does. Ah, yeah. Oh my gosh, Spawn of Noah is off this summer, as yeah. everybody probably knows. Um, great to see you, Nula. And um, I've never played with Tara, but I've heard her name for years, and I believe that she plays with the new River Dance show that I played with for a while. Um, the one called Heartbeat of Home. I think she oh, is cool. now the fiddle player for that one. So um, she's, of course, quite excellent. Um, great to have them. We are going to play one more set of tunes, of course, to end off here. Um, I will just remind you that you can vote for Tunes of Play many times, unlike the presidential election, hopefully, um, during the next 24 hours, or less than 24 hours now. I think it closes at 5, the voting, if I'm not mistaken. Um, over at the Irish Echo. I'll throw that into the comments one more time in just a second. Um, or you can vote for other people. That's totally fine. We're um, equal. There's other Tune Supply people on up for an award. Like oh, Niall is up for an award. I think there yes. might be one more too. I can't remember, but Niall is definitely there. Yeah. And other, uh, um, also the New York um, School of Irish Dance, I think. Yes. So there's lots of amazing people you can vote for. Um, okay, and the other thing I'll remind you of is the contributions Yes. Over there. I'm sticking my hand through the space time continuum right now, poking you. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to try that. Here. Okay, here you go. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, great. This is great fun. Maybe we should do that's this session. Weird. I can be in the bedroom and you can be out here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could do that just to, yeah. to continue this insanity. Um, throw some bucks into the contribution box. Um, so we can keep this going. Um, at this point, we're just continuing until something stops us, basically, which we are going to be stopped next week by the filming schedule. So we, there's no session on Thursday. We may do Friday. Don't forget to get on the mailing list um, to be kept up to date um, because we'll probably have to make kind of a last minute call on that. Yep. Um, okay, I'm going to put the contribution link in one more time, and then I am going to really quickly copy over the voting link because it's very important. It is. Um, it's not actually, but okay, there's the voting link. And um, okay, I think we should we can try this last set here. So I picked out these tunes and um, had Chris put them on the on the on the broadcast. And then I did that without actually trying the set ahead of time. And the changes are surprisingly difficult. So um, and I don't have Chris to um, like cover up any mistakes I make now. Um, maybe you can do a little sound effect, Chris, if you hear a mistake. Yeah, just I'll just um, do some baron tuning or something. Oh, great. Okay, great. Baron yeah. would be good to cover up the mistakes. Yeah. Um, but the, t the tunes I've selected are Sean Ryan's the, the Jig in A minor, which we haven't played in a long time. And then uh, the tune called the Diplodocus in honor of um, Earth Day and all the Diplodocuses, Diplodoci that live in our house. Um, and I just taught that in the Irish Art Center classes. So hopefully some people can play along and then we will end off with Cliffs of Moher, which is of course a classic that we haven't played in a long time either. So um, this should, should be a good set. Two times each on these medium speed. Um, did you want to give me a tuning note, Chris? Or are you, you, you good? Thank you. Some of your tuning has evaporated over the last <laughs> couple <What>? minutes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sean writes. Two, three, four.
clapping. It's so odd to hear clapping these days. Indeed. Um, great. Okay. So, did you were you putting um, sound effects on for me there, Chris? Uh, no, I didn't hear any mistakes. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I, I didn't did. need to. Um, I saw Bob Beamer said um, excellent change, Chris, and I thought that you yes. had perhaps added a little something, something in there, maybe a hup or something like that. No. Um, so okay, great, excellent job, everybody playing along with us from from two different locations and from Ireland tonight. Uh, I'm glad we have nearly made it to the end here. I shouldn't say anything because, <laughs> of course, something would happen in the last second if I did. Um, avocado Chris, like that you played. Yous? Avocado really like that you played the diplodocus. I see that. I see that uh, he or she seems to be dancing all around yeah. quite a lot. Um, I was I was doing Fiddle Hell the other day and had the avocados in the background for the Irish concert. And one of the other um, uh, uh, performers saw them and said, what are those topiary, topiary dinosaurs behind yes. you? <laughs> Which I thought was a great description. They do look like they're covered in moss and, they, and they're extremely soft. You know what they remind me a little bit of is Chia Pets. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's also amazing. You have the one. You have the oldest one, the old and one, this yeah. one is this one is brand new, and you can see the difference in the topiary mm -hmm. quite a lot. Well, avocado original has traveled quite a lot around the world. That's so true. That's probably why. Um, thank you. I guess that's all we have. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's great to have Nula. Thank you, Nula and Tara Breen. Um, Tara's first time on the session, so welcome. And uh, Peter and Anne Marie, it's fantastic to have you guys on. So thank you. Yes. And that was it. That's for it. The, That's all we had. Yeah. 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 Um, thank you, Chris, for joining us from Midtown. My pleasure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, we will, let's see if there's any other comments we need to look at here really quick. Um, nope. Okay. So um, <laughs> we will, <laughs> I mean, there are comments to look at. I just was making sure that nobody asked a question or anything that we need to, to um, respond to. Um, so we'll, we'll probably see you next week. We will get in touch shortly via the mailing list and um, the Facebook page. Um, so if you're, if you're not on those two things, um, uh, get on them so that we can keep in touch with you about what's going to happen next week. Um, and then we'll, we'll be back the following week as usual on Thursday night. I actually, we don't have anybody booked for that night. I better get on it. Are we back that so, Thursday night? I don't, I don't think we are. I think so. I think it's two weeks off. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I got to well, look, but I'm pretty sure. Even more reason to get on the mailing list so that yes. we can tell you what exactly is going on. Yep. Um, maybe we can rope in some other come from away people from their uh, yeah, I bet we, quarantine bubbles. I bet we could. Maybe Ben Power. Yep. Okay. We'll have to try that out. All right. So um, <laughs> everyone, thank you for joining us for this extra silly um, session tonight. Cheers, bears, to everyone out there. And um, we will see you soon. Happy Cheers. Earth Day. Bye.